Hey there you Greek people, I hope you've been so well. Thank you so much for joining me yet again in the kitchen. I hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas up to now. If you're sick and tired now of the normal traditional uh, food and fur, so like your meat, your stuffing and all that kind of some vegetables, I thought I'd bring you something a little bit different during this festive period. I know I've done these before, but I'm going to do another curry. But this is probably going to be uh, for the people out there that love their spice the most, because it's probably going to be the most spiciest curry I've ever done on this channel. I'm going to show you the work surface now and show you what I have here in terms of ingredients. So you need some lemon juice in a bottle like this, or even fresh lemons. Got a can of uh, tomatoes, something to put them in, like a measuring jug or a bowl or something. Um, I've used five little plum tomatoes here, but you could use one vine tomato or cherry tomatoes is fine. Two roughly chopped uh, green or brown onions. Then here, <clears throat> we've got two very long jalapenos and one mega spicy and large scotch bonnet chili. Then our spice mixture is a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of chili flake, one teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of coriander uh, powder or leaf will do. Then here we've got about 500 grams just of one pound of lean chicken breast, which I've diced up to all about the same size, about an inch and a half each, which I've just seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper. Have yourselves a wok or a large pan or that kind of thing. Uh, on the heat with about two or three tablespoons of oil. Vegetable oil, sunflower oil, uh, rapeseed oil is absolutely fine. One thing I forgot to mention on the board here was about a tablespoon, a generous one, of some chopped uh, garlic. If not, use probably about a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now I've said that, we've got our wok, or we could use a very deep pan. It's got to be quite deep. Um, We've got this now on a medium heat. So we are going to add the onions in a second and do them for about five minutes, stirring occasionally. So whilst we've been doing this uh, onion in the pan here, or the wok in this case, <clears throat> I've just chopped this uh, chili, the long jalapeno chilies, <clears throat> along with this uh, massive Scotch bonnet chili, which is gonna be mega hot. We're gonna add those to the pan now. And we're going to do this now, the chilies, along with about a tablespoon or just over of the ginger. And we'll do it for about a minute and we'll give that a good stirring through. Whilst we leave the uh, chilli and the garlic in there, for about a minute, we're going to very quickly uh, get our spice blend mixture here and put this all over this about a pound of chicken breast we've cut to the same size right so with the onions garlic and also the chili which i'm just going to turn down in a minute uh, pretty much done we will now add our seasoned chicken breast here that we put our spice mixture onto into the pan i got the chicken by the way up to room temperature first, it doesn't cool the pan down too much. We're gonna do this on a medium heat now, three or four out of six, for around about five minutes, not until the chicken's absolutely cooked through, but until it's turned from a nice pink, or not nice pink, a raw pink, to cooked on the outside, so like a white color, and all the juices are sealed in. And then we're on to the next little bit of the video. While we've got the uh, chicken there and the rest in the wok, what we do, we're going to take our tomatoes we chopped earlier, put them into the measuring jug there, all of them. We take half a can, this is a 400 gram of tomatoes, nice Italian vine ones. We're going to put about half the can of the tomatoes in there. And then a good helping of this lemon juice here. You could probably lose, use lime juice as well, but I prefer lemon juice and probably put about five tablespoons of that in there so we've got our chicken sizzling away there nice so we've done it for about three or four or five minutes maybe on a medium medium high until most of the chicken as you could probably see on some of it is sealed so it's gone white on the outside 
We'll take our jug now with our half a can of chopped tomatoes, our fresh chopped tomatoes, and about five tablespoons of lemon juice, and put that into the wok and give it a very, very good stirring together. As you can probably see, we've stirred that together very, very nicely. And what we've done is we've used our measuring jug here and we've put in 500 milliliters of tap water, which we're going to put into the wok now. Again, give this a very, very, very good stirring uh, together and make sure at this point, the heat is turned up to quite high. So probably, probably five out of six on the heat and we'll wait till this comes up to boiling point by the way this whole time because i'm daft i forgot to tell you what i was calling this curry and um, this curry is going to be called the chicken scotch bonnet fiery masala that's what i'm calling this curry and as you can probably see now I've got this up to a little bit of a slow boil at this point give it a very very good stirring mix everything through again in this big wok and then turn it from the five out of six it's on now down to about a two and what we'll do we'll simmer this stirring every five ten minutes or so and we'll do it for about 30 minutes until the curry is reduced down and thickened up as you can probably see now, we've reduced this curry down on a medium heat for around about 30 minutes in this wok. Um, and it's looking very, very good. And pretty much absolutely done now. Um, I'm gonna serve this probably with some just microwave rice, just because it's easier at the moment around the Christmas time, rather than spending loads of time cooking rice and obviously using electric, which is very expensive in England. To get served with the rice and some garlic and coriander naan breads. And this is going to be thoroughly enjoyable. Like I said, this is the spiciest curry I've probably done on my channel. And I can smell it from here. But also it's got the sweetness of the tomato and the onion and all the rest. So it's going to be wonderful. Like I said, I thought I'd bring you something different around this Christmas period. Uh, if you bought the Christmas type food. This is something completely different and enjoyable and it's not that difficult to make as you've seen if you watch the video all the way through to now. Please remember I've got 467 videos or so on this channel which is of course Paul B. Huston 85 so please support my channel uh, by watching some of those across 14 amazing playlists and please remember to like this video especially subscribe, share and hit the notification bell. See you all later and enjoy the rest of your festive period.